Hey guys, it's your boy Cooper's and welcome back. Welcome to this video where yes, it finally happened. It finally happened. It, it, I didn't think I'd live to see the day. But ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, at Gamescom, EA did something they never, I never thought they'd fucking do it. I never thought they'd do it. But they actually improved career mode as much as Ultimate Team. It's unbelievable. For the last couple of years, since Ultimate Team's introduction, career mode has been treated like that stepchild you don't really like. Eek. Eek. And it's been ignored and ignored and ignored for, for getting one or two improvements in every single FIFA. Sometimes none at all. What did it get last? What did it get in FIFA 15 that was different in the 16? Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Not a fucking lot. But in FIFA 16, that has or it is going to change. And there is going to be longer loans, training. Oh my god! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Praise whatever God you all pray to. Praise is him. Praise him. Praise the Lord. And EA have finally listened to us. How many years have we you've been asking? Training, training, training. I mean, if they want to make the game realistic, it had to go in. It had to go in because it happens in real life. You can realistically have a player trained. That's what they do before every single fucking match. Most teams train at least three times a week. Three times a fucking week. And you can't even get your... And in FIFA, up until FIFA 16, you couldn't get them to train. Even if you were in up to them said, train or I'll sell you. Say... So, you can't make me train. This is a thief. A fifteen. Huh. Hmm. But yes, you can actually train them, and you can actually select what they can train. My bugging. Yes, I can make continue actually work on his shooting. Thing. He might actually be good at scoring goals. Cause. That's one of the problems with Continuo in real life. He takes a lot of shots, but not a lot of them go in. <laughs> so, maybe something to work on there. It, it's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. it. There wasn't one downside to anything they announced for... For Kermit, the only downside was that they didn't announce the option to change a player's position. Now, maybe that will be added in? But surely they would have said it. So I'm guessing they couldn't get it in or they just haven't worked out how it would work yet. Or maybe something. I'm praying that it'll be in FIFA 17. I mean, if they, if this is what they've done for FIFA 16, FIFA 17 may be the FIFA we wanted for so long. But FIFA 16 will be he a suitable who will pass time, <laughs> and it will finally, finally let us be feeling like a real manager. It will make us feel like we're standing there. Or with the likes of Jose Mourinho, the prick, and Arsene Wenger, the old fossil, and Louis van Gaal, the idiot who's getting rid of Victor Valdez for some reason, and and um, Brendan Rodgers. Actually, I will be Liverpool manager, so Brendan Rodgers, unless he's at a different club. <laughs> Also, realistic transfers. No more Aguero to Real Madrid every two seasons. Yes. 
that won't happen anymore. It might happen once, but then you'll never see Aguero move again. Unless I say him. Hmm. I didn't think of that. I'll be making a lot of big moves. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> and the budget. The budget. They've changed how the budget works. They've, ch they've changed a lot. I gotta say, this is probably the best. This is probably gonna be the best FIFA career mode ever. Um, they haven't. They really only announced things for manager. They didn't really announce anything for my player, which I know would. It's going to upset um, A9 skills. Because well, that's the career mode he normally plays. But maybe, maybe, maybe they've probably announced. If there is anything new for my player, they've probably announced it by now. Uh, if not, there's nothing new. And it's just still the same. I sometimes play for my player. It's alright. Yeah. I prefer this. the manager role fits me better. Anyway, the, the long story short, FIFA career mode will finally be treated with the same respect as Ultimate Team. This is what we want. And Ultimate Team shouldn't be treated like it's better. Because most people play career mode. A lot of people play career mode. I have friends who have never even touched Ultimate Team. I am never going to play Ultimate Team again. Ever. Not on FIFA 16. I've even... When I went to pre-order FIFA 16, I specifically said to the person working at GameStop, Do not pre-order. Not, uh, not the special edition. Not... Not any kind of special edition. Not any of that crap. I don't want those Ultimate Team packs. Because I'm never going to open them. Because I'm never going to play Ultimate Team again. So, oh, oh, yes, EA. Please, give us more, more to do in career mode. And we'll be happy. And you won't have to listen to it anymore. Only a few more tweaks from for FIFA 17, but a later date, a later or something to think about at a later date. As far as FIFA 16 goes, two thumbs up. Up, look, look. I'm ready. He he. Too bad it's still a month away. Yay! Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Peace.